Today, we get a first look at the Bruzilla Gen 4. If you've seen any of my shows, you know I love the previous version of this Bruzilla. But the Gen 4 offers even more. So Gen 3, awesome product. Gen 4, huge improvements on a few key areas. And let's go over those. But first, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's dig into it. One of the first improvements that I thought was really cool had to do with the cord. It's in my hand. It's a standard computer plug that we all have extra cords around the house. It just plugs right in and it allows you to take it off for storage. And you would think like, what's the big woo? But sometimes when you're walking it around and you have a little liquid in there and the cord's dangling on the ground, sometimes you step on it, sometimes you don't. But this just makes it easier for both moving it around and storing it. Now, please note that's on the 110 version. The 220 version, which you'll see in some of the videos, that's hardwired in just like it was previously. Another simple improvement is the lid handles. And you may say like, what, who cares? But the old ones had little knobs on them, hard to grip, hard to hold. This is actually glass and I've seen them shatter and they do shatter. So these are nice. You can actually put hooks and hold it right off the handles while you're brewing. It's just a lot less likely to break and easier to hold. The next upgrade is the false bottom pump protection screen. And this thing fits tight and it fits low to the bottom as you can see by these. But when you get it in there, it protects and has a huge amount of surface area to help you know, collect trube and hot matter as it's going through to protect that pump to keep it running freely. And that kind of goes into the next thing that they did, which is to make the whole bottom concave. And that's cool because it has a center inlet so you can truly drain and clean the whole thing at once. Now, brewing wise, you may say like, hey, that means a lot of my stuff is gonna get into my fermenter and that's where this comes along. They claim 95% of true will be held on here. Still need to run some more experiments on that, but I know when I took it out, I was surprised at how much Trube was coating this thing after that batch. What that gives you on the bottom there is the ability to CIP, because it's got a mirror finished bottom and a center drain. So we're gonna get into the sparge arm in a little bit, but future proofing, they are working on a CIP head that would work with the system and make it super easy to clean. Next up, the malt pipe. They did a lot of work redesigning this and rethinking it. What they also did was perforate the bottom so that you get improved flow. And because of that improved flow, they got rid of the center drain system, which just makes things a lot easier. This false bottom still comes out of the very bottom for easy cleaning, but now they just give you one solid that you can just put on top to keep things nice and tight in there as the water flows through. Now on the old generation, I always used rice holes. Every batch, sometimes a half pound, sometimes a full pound. This one, I really don't feel I have to do that as much because of how much you know, perforation there is now. You know, certain recipes, of course I will, but other ones I won't need to. The other thing is, it's just nice and easy without that center bar to stir in your mash. It just makes it a ton easier. It's actually quite a bit larger too, I believe they say 30% larger, so you can do more grain in there. The next awesome feature, they redesigned the bottom. Used to have a solid plate in the previous generation that you could take off to get to this. Now they left it off, which is awfully nice because now we can get in and clean our pump head if we feel we need to, redo our tubing down here. It's just so much easier to get to all this to make sure we're taking care of things. The last and most important upgrade they did was the wrap system. And it's a big encompassing thing. First off, just for those of us who have the old generation, we've moved from having a control panel down here to a control panel up here that tilts and angles, makes it nice and easy, or can go up on something on your wall or whatnot. It's not a huge cord, but it's plenty to get it out of your way. Super nice to just have that. The wrap system allows you all the same 
controls right on board that you had before with the previous generation and introduces their whole web ecosystem. It's a web app, um, so nothing you have to download on your phone. You actually can get to it from your computer or from your phone, which makes it nice because some things I like to do on my computer, but it lets you design your MASH profiles and time of alerts to a lot of things. You can also do all of that right here on the screen as well. We're gonna do a brewing demonstration of that in the next few weeks, so you're gonna be sure to wanna check out that video. The wrap system is really cool. It works natively locally right on this screen, which is great. And then they have a whole cloud-based control system, and that's Wi-Fi, and that's built right in, ready to go. In addition to that, it also has Bluetooth, and they are working on more products to accompany it, such as a Bluetooth thermometer that can be built in anywhere you want in the malt pipe, which will be really cool when it comes out. So not only is it awesome for the current, where you can use the web or um, locally to set up your MASH profile and things like that, but then it'll have cool stuff that'll come down the line. All these improvements were super nice. And that's in addition to what the Bruzilla already came with. And if you're not familiar with that, it comes with everything you need to do that first batch in terms of the brew day side. It comes with the spar charm, it comes with the wart chiller, it comes with the ultra, low watt density burners, meaning you're not gonna scorch that bottom. And if it does get a little buildup, it's super easy to wipe off because it has that mirror finish. It's available for pre-order now at morebeer.com and we are gonna be doing more videos using this equipment coming out soon. So be sure to subscribe and get those notifications. Woo! <laughs>